Hey, welcome to today's check-in, which is uh, possibly the latest I've checked in for one of these daily videos. Um, I just didn't get a didn't get a proper chance to do it earlier. I figured I'd do it this evening, but uh, then it was off to jujitsu, and I haven't been for about three weeks. And um, a bit of traffic on the way, I, I I couldn't do it just before I went in. So here I am, uh, quarter past ten after the class, uh, hot, sweaty, um, bit of a cut lip, <laughs> a bit tired. Um, but having enjoyed the session, and um, actually today, it's quite relevant doing the video at this point, having just come out of jiu-jitsu. I did a video, a live stream to Facebook uh, today into my kind of profile, which I haven't really done much of recently. And it's something that um, kind of I want to start doing more of, not just the lives, but videos, writing content and putting it kind of more public facing. Uh, I'm OK with the emails. I'm OK with writing articles in the blog. I'm OK with putting things to my groups. I'm not quite so good at putting things up onto my main Facebook profile and kind of just saying, look, this is me, this is what I'm doing. Um, and uh, and the reason it's relevant, having just come out of jiu-jitsu, to talk about that now is because in that video I did today, I was talking about um, my current training and my approach to preparation for this swim run, this ultra long swim run called the Frog Graham Round, which is in just about three weeks time, it's September the 9th, so it's not long at all. Um, and this is a 40 mile fell run with four lake swims. And um, I'm not disrespecting the magnitude of the challenge. I mean, it's, it's about 15,000 feet of ascent from start to finish, um, th you know, hitting some of the main peaks in the Lake District. And um, it's probably 15 to 18 hours worth of, of work. And um, it's more or less self-sufficient as well. There's no marshals, there's no proper measured course. Um, there's no directions, you have to navigate, you have to figure out the route in advance. So there's a lot of challenges that I've got to overcome. And um, uh, in my training and preparation for it has been has been pretty mental, not in the kind of a, it's been mental Kate, sense, it, but mental as in it's been uh, very much about the mental preparation, the mental side, the confidence building, the um, the belief that I've built up in myself that I'm going to be capable of doing this despite not doing what would traditionally be regarded as a sensible kind of training regime. Um, I've been doing more jujitsu than long runs despite not going for the last three weeks. I've been going to the gym more, I've been doing more hit, um, the high intensity work, I've been doing more sprints. I've done a few four to six mile runs with a dog, but nothing for a while. I did a couple of runs on holiday. So really I've got no experience, recent experience of going over an hour, um, apart from the seven hour 40 miler I did at Endure uh, in the middle of June. So um, although I've kind of got that confidence, I do also think that I've got to spend some time for the rest of this month getting out and doing some hill work, doing some decent running, um, but not you know, not um, wrecking the arse out of it. I've got to actually be recovered for September the 9th when I've got the when I've got the event. Anyway, so all of this, this is this is kind of the the mindset approach to to this. This is uh, I I'm doing this because it's a challenge for me. Although I'm also very aware that there will be many um, parallels and stories and metaphors and anecdotes and lessons that I can draw out of it that will inevitably make their way into talks I give, presentations, writing that I do. Uh, and it's really just the lessons that I learn and, and being able to share those lessons in a public way is, <clears throat> it's always helped me get the most out of doing these events. It's like it crystallizes my thoughts and perhaps without the pressure of, um, and the commitment of having uh, an, an audience to speak to, perhaps I would never make some of those connections and never learn some of those lessons. So. Um, yeah, a day of thinking about training today. Um, and as I said, having just come out of jiu-jitsu, um, it's time now, late, get back home, have some food, have a shower, and then get some rest. So there's my check-in for the day. I will be back again tomorrow with another one. Like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and uh, I will keep you posted with more progress or not on my journey towards becoming an established motivational well-being speaker. Bye for now.